Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Once again, this is Niladri Mohapatra from Agile Digest. We'll be talking about capacity planning. This is the second uh, episode we are talking about capacity planning and this time we'll be targeting to focus on how we can do the capacity planning in TFS. That's one of the LM tool and there are a couple of videos I'll be bringing on uh, capacity planning on Zira or capacity planning on Rally, how we'll be doing it. So let's do a quick recap uh, what we discussed on, on the previous episode on how we are doing capacity planning, what's the insights of it and how we'll be fit those uh, insights into uh, uh, TFS capacity planning. So let's assume that our sprint is starting on 7th here and ending on 28th June here. So this is a 10 day sprint. We have these many uh, developer and testers working here and they are 100% allocated. Initially then we change the allocation of uh, mark to 15% so that the default working hours instead of 8 it reached to 4 and 52 hours uh, per day for the entire team and 520 hours for the entire team and this is the calendar view once again you can see 52 hours every day now then we are actually looking into uh, the distribution how every day those are calculated and uh, what are <coughs> in the uh, days calculated for 50 percent allocation we mark that uh, okay we have a company holiday or um, national holiday on 12th so um, uh, the total uh, available capacity is uh, 72 after calculating that and then again we are saying okay Alex is of a zero here that means is a leave on that day Amit is on leave on that day and Jason is leave on this day this is 15th this is 13th and this is 8th and then we uh, uh, looked into okay Tanushri is having four hours of work here means partially is taking a half day off over here now we are talking about uh, what are the times we are uh, doing on ceremonies. So it's coming to 12.33. And uh, these 12.33 hours uh, we are having um, as a ceremony times that will be consuming. So total it will be coming to 51.67. And finally we can see if we look into the focus factor of 90%, this is 46.50 or 50.10 for Tanushri. And 53.70 for Jessica that's way and total this is the final uh, capacity of everyone but once uh, we'll be doing it in uh, TFS you will be seeing that okay TFS is automatically have an options to take care of this uh, team holiday or individual holiday so we'll be uh, not counting it uh, to deducting manually and we'll see how much that capacity coming if we are leaving this part for TFS to take care of and by doing that TFS doesn't have uh, options for partial holiday so we'll be calculating the partial holiday in our excel or somewhere you are doing so total the com uh, total capacity coming is something like this so let's uh, go to uh, TFS and see how does this value will be putting into it so here if we actually look into uh, the capacity 60.90 it will be kind of six hours per day this is six hours per day this is 5.7 hours per day because we have a 10 days uh, sprint okay let's go to tfs okay so here we are in tfs and in tfs we can see uh, this is our dash uh, will be going to work we know that uh, capacity planning always work under sprint so we'll be select our current sprint or any sprint that you are targeting to do the capacity and this is your capacity you click on by default it's on uh, it used to be on backlog but you can click on capacity to uh, plan your capacity now uh, again uh, if we look into our we have a holiday on 12th so if we will be marking a team holiday on 12th where is 12th yes and this is ending on 12th so we marked one day as off then there were a couple of uh, individual holidays so who was on individual holiday Alex on 8th 
was an individual holiday so on uh, we'll mark one day for Alex that's on 8th okay and Amit was on off planned off on 13th so we'll mark Amit for 13 And uh, we mark Jason's eight hours for a uh, full day. That was 15th. Okay, this is what we have done. Now we'll be looking into uh, the role also. So we know uh, Alex was a developer, he will be doing the activity of development, Amit will do the um, activity of development and in here we are assuming Niladri is uh, the product owner and Peter is the scrum master so we will not put any allocation for uh, them as a capacity because they will not take part in the construction. Now capacity per day will be uh, now putting it uh, per day means what we saw here is 60.90 that's for the entire sprint so for alex it will be six hours for amit it will be six hours mark has 2.8 hours so mark was a partial and shared resource so his capacity will be 2.8 hours and then we have uh, peter no, Peter will not be putting any values. Tanushri is uh, 5.7 hours because Tanushri have a uh, uh, off for um, uh, four hours for some day. So based upon that, it's coming like this. Now all the leaves and vacations that we have, those are marked here, and you are done with all your capacity over here. <clears throat> so this is. Uh, your capacity of in everyone for this particular sprint now why where you will be using it if you actually look into uh, your backlog i need to save it so you planned your capacity you saved it you know this is your sprint duration seven working work days remaining it's starting on uh, june 7 to june 20th and if I look into uh, the sprint backlog, there is nothing in the backlog yet. So what we can do is we can create uh, or bring one stories. This is one stories. We'll be moving it to the sprint one. And if we open this story, you can see there uh, the current capacity for this particular sprint is now uh, showing because there are some tasks assigned to Alex and where those tasks are assigned you can uh, see that those are the subtasks we have created earlier the task it was not showing green because it was not part of the sprint now we have added uh, this task uh, task 1 task 2 task 3 and task 4 and uh, all the tasks are assigned to some person so this one is assigned to Alex this one is assigned to Alex this one is unassigned and this one is unassigned so we'll assign this task once again and see how does uh, that backlog will looks like right so uh, let's go back and see only Alex have uh, whatever the capacity he has it has that this gray area of capacity is still available and 8 of total 42 hours uh, is uh, occupied now we'll assign the task to for an example let's assign some task to Amit and let's see how does that looks like and uh, we'll do this by assigning this task so this task one let's assign it to AMIT Amit and it, it will be assigned to Amit save and close and another task will be assigning it to for an example uh, Tanushri and save and close so let's go back to the backlog item once again and see how does that looks like 
so this all the task is done if we uh, go back to work again or you can click on this backlog also this is your backlog click here and this is your capacity so if you look into i didn't save it yet amit is still saying zero hours total eight hours has committed i had to save that okay over here um, these two tasks it's assigned to amit but the thing is okay we have to make uh, some estimated effort so what is the estimated effort uh, remaining work i says this is five hours of uh, remaining work i have for this one seven close and for this task i'll be saying this is 10 hours of remaining save and close now go back to your item now you will be able to see if you go into backlog here this is one story for the sprint but you can see amit is also have got some uh, bandwidth it will be turned red if these hours is uh, uh, cross beyond this limit everyone is saying 42 36 42 36 this is the based upon every day's calculation what it was uh, showing and based upon that it says as of today is 36 hours uh, remaining for for a mate and 42 hours remaining for Dennis tomorrow it will be reduced in that way so that is how you do a capacity planning if you go into capacity you can see all these capacity and how those are allocated for an example if you want to see if someone is over allocated let me uh, make this five hours to 40 hours so this you will see will be turned red how we'll be doing it we'll go to our backlog and open that task that was assigned to amit this one was assigned to Amit. I will be changing the estimated effort to 40 and you will see that has now turned red. So I will be able to see that. We will go to backlog once again and see Amit's slide is turned red now because this was the capacity as of today but total remaining work is this. So once we will be doing sprint planning and covering that video we'll be doing lots of this permutation combination to see how this is working but uh, till that time this is what uh, the capacity planning you can do and manage in tfs thank you for watching we'll see you once again in our next video from agile digest with some alm tool and capacity planning how we are doing it till that time thank you goodbye have a nice day